I just feel like my bed is pretty much complete now. Uh, other than I got the new rest coming. Uh, I'm going to be selling that. I believe anyhow. I, I may keep it because in case I end up buying another bow this year. At least I'll have a rest for it. But yeah, I, I pretty much have another. I have another. I have the the integrate coming. I can't wait to try it. I've always wanted to try one and never have. It's being my very first one. Uh, I got a pretty good deal on it, so I decided to go with it. But yeah, guys, this is my bow finally set up. And I'm shooting really, really, really good with it like this. Uh, the bow's it's a beast. It really is a beast. Uh, I, I, I can't I can't wait to shoot it again. I love shooting this bow. Uh, it's tuned in so good. I'm kind of worried about putting a new rest on because of how good I'm actually shooting right now. I really don't know if I want to change my rest around just yet. I might even just wait a little bit. I don't have to put it on right now. I might wait. I got North Carolina hunting season coming up on September 11th. I may wait until after that to change it out. I don't know. I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush to change it out. I'm hoping this video quality is pretty good. Give you guys a good look at this. I love, I love this camo. In fact, I bought some of it. I have some at home. I didn't buy a whole lot. I didn't get crazy or anything, but yeah, the design and the camo, the looks. Th this is a work of art, man. Matthews outdid himself with this bow. This this bow is just like it needs hung up in a museum. Like this th this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Big shout out to Weaver's Archery Shop for hooking me up, setting me up. Like they they went above and beyond. And uh, I'm finally starting to get used to this sight. Took me a little bit to figure it out, but like I can shoot a long ways with this sight. I don't know exactly how far down I can go, but yeah, it's uh, it's a long ways. I don't know if I would have I'd have some arrow clearance issues right about there. I would imagine, but <laughs> you know, I shot it at a hundred yards, no problem. Uh, well, the only problem was with me because I'm not that good of a shot. And it's not shooting 313 feet per second. It's, I got to figure that part out a little bit. That's not right. So what I did was I took the piece of paper and held it up to my sights. And this one came out to be as close to it as it actually is. So, I don't know. I got to play around with the sight tape a little bit. I don't hunt past 30 yards uh, most of my shots are 30 and under most of my shots are 20 and under I, I like close shots uh, but yeah I got it, it just it, this bow is just like I said it's just I think it's just absolutely beautiful I wasn't sure how much I was gonna like it I wasn't I really wasn't sure if I was gonna love this bow or not and and I do I, I absolutely love this bow uh, I'm worried I've seen enough uh, people snapping their limbs off. I, I don't want my limbs to snap. I mean, Matthews is pretty quick about fixing that if that would happen. So, I'm not too concerned about it. But, you know, it's always something going to be worried on the back of my mind. I don't know why they made them so thin. I mean, they're, they're really freaking thin. I, I think that was a mistake on their end. But, you know, as long as they hold up, they'll be alright. So, we'll see what happens. Just hope they don't end up breaking anything stupid. And if they do, we'll fix them. Not a big deal. Uh, Matthew's 30th anniversary is this year, so I'm really, really, really anxious to see what they come out with and what they have coming up. I'm really, really curious. Uh, yeah. And if I like it, I'll probably get another new bow. I don't know. I got no problem buying new bows. I like buying new bows. It's fun. 
it's fun to get them set up, it's fun to sell them, you know, I know that I'm not going to get all my money back out of this thing, but I'll get a lot of it back, you know, I, I can sell this bear right now for a thousand dollars and take all my accessories off, no doubt in my mind, uh, maybe put the ham ski back on, let the, the B-roll grip, it's on there, it ain't coming off, but I let the B-roll grip on there, the ham ski on it, I can sell this bear right now for a thousand dollars, take everything else off. Take it all off. It, it, this is a brand new string. It's, you know, yeah, it's got some shooting in it, but that string will last for two years if you wanted it to. But yeah, guys, there you go. A little update on my bow. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope this video quality is pretty good. I'm trying a new uh, setting on my phone, so let me know how the video quality is if you ma like made it this far. Like and subscribe. Share if you want to. Peace.